Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the statistics. Today we will discuss about the simple and the composite hypothesis of the testing of hypothesis. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. So as we all knows that in in the testing of the hypothesis like of the F test, T test, J test, Chi square, Wilcoxon, and many more, the first thing which we are needed to define the hypothesis called as the H, or you can say whatever your claim is that you have to define that. This hypothesis is basically of the two categories, called as the null hypothesis, denoted as H zero, and the alternative as a H one. What is the meaning of the H zero and H one are there? For example, if if this is a man which is trying to propose a beautiful girl and call as the will you marry me, so what is what the what what she thinks about that? So whether whether they will reject the proposal of this man or whether they will fail to reject it, the proposal of this man. So in the meanwhile, whether they whether uh, she will give their decision, the person, the man will always be try to convince himself, or they are in the confusing side whether uh, she will accepted or rejected your proposal. So if they will rejected their null hypothesis, that is H zero, then this person will break their hearts. So like here, so what is the the question arises is they rejected the null hypothesis that is H zero, and then what is the meaning of the H zero? The H zero that is called as the null hypothesis is the hypothesis which is tested for the possible rejection under the assumption that it is true. What is the meaning of that? It is meaning that initially this person or this man will believe that the beautiful girl will accepted their proposal. So that's their assumption that she can accepted their proposal. That is while the null hypothesis that they are tested for possible rejection. So they are rejected their proposal. So against their accepted one on the other end whatever the opposite of this this is called as the uh, null or called as the alternative hypothesis the alternative hypothesis may be of the two tail or the one tail we will see in the couple of examples to be or in other words the alternative hypothesis means once the researcher wishes to support while the null hypothesis means which are contradiction to the alternative hypothesis Once you are writing the h zero as say mu is mu naught, then what is the opposite of this? It can be not equal to either greater than or less than. So if it is a not equal to, then we call as the two tail. Greater than is a right tail and the left tail are there. Based on this hypothesis are there, you can define whether the hypothesis is simple or composite. What is the meaning of that? Suppose you have a random sample which is taken from the distribution of parameter theta. What is the meaning of this theta is there? So, for example, if you are talking about the binomial distribution, then how many unknown parameters are there? N and p. If you are talking about your exponential distribution, then your unknown parameter is my lambda. If you are talking about the normal distribution, then this theta is nothing but my mu and sigma square. That is the parameter of the population. So, if you taken as a sample from the population which has the unknown parameter theta. Then the hypothesis corresponding to this is called as the simple. If you are uniquely determine the distribution of the population from the sample, if you are how how you can determine that that we will see. If you are unable to uniquely determine, then we will call as the composite hypothesis. What is the meaning of that? For example, if you say here, suppose x i is a sample, a random sample taken from the exponential distribution with the parameter here. So all of you know that this is the exponential distribution. How many unknown parameters are there? That is only for the lambda. So this theta is basically a uh, my lambda is there. Now check whether the hypothesis is a simple or composite. As we know that the PDF of the exponential distribution is here. Now under this hypothesis, h is theta is three. You can substitute this value here. You will get this answer. now is the now you can see it is a uniquely determined because there is no other value of the theta which satisfied this condition hence we can uniquely determine the pdf with the hypothesis of here therefore this is a simple hypothesis because there is only the one parameter here look at this another one if you consider again but i have changed this hypothesis instead of the uh, is equal to 3 To be greater than equal to greater than of 4.5. What is the meaning of that? We know the exponential distribution with the parameter here. Now, 
since it is a greater than of the 4.5 so it can have a 5 it can have a 7 it can have a 25 and so on so i can take a say two examples are there i can take as a 5 then its value is my here if i consider as a 26.5 and here and so on so how many values are there which satisfy this equation there are infinite many values are there so it means there are infinitely many distribution functions so it means pdf could be any of the infinite numbers so what is the meaning of that that means you are not uniquely determined the hypothesis against this h here therefore it is a composite hypothesis so last last example was there when your hypothesis is a single number then you can uniquely determine that's a simple otherwise composite look at some more examples are there uh, say you have the normal distribution and you can take on the population from here it is clear that this is uh, unknown now corresponding to this h is mu 0 if you can substitute the value of the mu that is a 550 here now can you say this is a uniquely determined still not because this sigma is a unknown variance so once it is a unknown variance then your sigma scale that is a variance could be the 25 it could be like of 49 it could be like of 125 or can you of the anything so it means the PDF of the distribution could be like here if you consider as a sigma is 7 if you consider sigma is my 2.5 then it could be here and many more so what is the meaning of that this distribution is not uniquely determined hence it is a composite hypothesis because it has infinite many possible ways for the different value of the sigma so it is not a uniquely determined look at the another one again we consider the normal distribution with the variance is 25 mean is mu can you say this is a simple or composite we can start with the normal distribution now since variance is my 25 so what is the sigma scale is my 25 what is the value of the sigma sigma is nothing but my 5 is there corresponding to this i can substitute this value in here we will get here now you can see sigma is my 5 can you say this is a uniquely determined yes because there is is there any unknown parameter here no because there is only parameter x which is a uh, input so we can say which is a uniquely determined corresponding to this hence this is a simple hypothesis look at here now you can see there are the two hypotheses one is a null hypothesis and the alternative corresponding to the distribution function here check whether they are simple or composite the pdf of the distribution is given to be here now this one so firstly we will check about here so if you substitute this value here then you will get this function can you say this is a uniquely determined yes because there is only parameter x corresponding to this can you say it is a uniquely determined again it's a yes so what is the meaning of that since the pdf is uniquely determined under both h0 and h1 so therefore both the hypotheses are my simple hypothesis look at the another one which is a normal distribution with a mean mu variance is my 40 16 and you have to check whether h0 10 and 15 now sigma variance is my 16 so what is the sigma is there sigma is my 4 so you can substitute sigma here you will get this expression now what is the null and alternative hypothesis are here now once you will substitute this value here you will get f of x which is a uniquely determined clearly says that the only unknown parameter is mu which is given to you if you substitute f of 15 uh, sorry f 15 in here again you can uniquely determine so therefore these are again the simple hypothesis look at one more example are there here this the distribution is given to you and h0 and h1 are given to be here again you have to check whether it's a simple or composite once you will substitute theta is 3 then you will get this value this is my f of x you can see it is a uniquely determined because it is only unknown is my x since theta is not equal to 3 it means theta can be 2 it can be 4 it can be 27 and it can be of anything so it means corresponding to this you will get an f of x corresponding to this you will get the f of x and so on it means these are how many values are there there are infinite many values it means this is a, uh, this is uniquely determined corresponding to h0 only but not under the h1 hence h0 is a simple hypothesis while h1 is a composite hypothesis so 
So this is a remark of this. If any of the hypothesis is of either form that is a two tail, one tail, and so on, then it is always be a composite hypothesis. You can see in this example again. This is not equal to, so it is a composite hypothesis. So this is the lecture we, uh, you have to see in about the simple and the composite. We will see in the next class how you can define the type one and the type two errors. Till then, you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos. Best of luck, students. Happy learning.